Hey friends, so last video we seen how to host a static website using S3 bucket. So let's see today uh, we are going to implement CloudFront uh, which is nothing but content distribution network using S3 bucket. So yeah, uh, so before that let's see uh, our uh, last time which we created a uh, demo purpose the static website. This is my index.html and error.html and uh, let's see if it is still working so, yeah it's still working so let's go back and create cloud front okay create distributions so here you will get two options uh, one is for web and another is for rtmp so as we created uh, the website so we'll go for the web options the rtmp basically is from uh, any streaming media website uh, or any media files you can see here so we are going for web so let's just click on get started so we can see here this is very big page let's see uh, how big yeah it's too big okay so uh, but uh, no need to worry uh, amazon given uh, this information tab if you click here you will get all the informations so what need to be enter what not so yeah let's continue and create a distribution so my uh, origin name domain name so let's click out here and i'm going to use my uh, static website bucket so which is nothing but cloud ops demo static s3 origin path uh, as my index.html and error.html it is in uh, the root so i'm not giving uh, any path but uh, if you have any subfolders you can give slash and uh, then uh, the folder name and for restrict bucket access i don't want to restrict i don't want header and uh, keep this uh, as it is so let's move to default cache behavior okay so yeah here is the option uh, you can uh, redirect uh, http to https so any website using http so you can redirect to https this is an uh, option uh, the ssl uh, in below we can see uh, the ssl certificate which we are going to use uh, so yeah let's go down so here is one more option uh, we can see fill level encryption config so if you are using uh, any uh, streaming uh, sorry uh, any encryption uh, like uh, your uh, credit card website hosting or banking uh, website so we can use this so so for me it is just an normal website so i'm not using it so here is one more option you can see cache based on the request headers so as we are not saying uh, selected the headers we can see here we not selected any headers but let's see the options which we have here we have whitelist so we can whitelist the headers and here is all option so uh, for headers and object caching we can see as a, we are not selected so let it be as it is so i want to customize uh, my ttl time so default is uh, it's six four double zero let me add one more zero so it's all in seconds remember it okay let's go down so smooth streaming i don't want to stream as i'm not hosting any media content okay uh, restrict viewers access i don't want to restrict compress objects automatically yes i do want to compress Okay, so here one more option lambda functions so we can use the lambda functions we can give uh, you can give here the ARN number and the types are here request access view origini okay so let's go down so here is the option price class so we can see here it's uh, US and Canada Europe Canada Europe Asia Middle East Africa and uh, all age locations so as to quit this demo uh, video let's select as it is because in multiple geo locations it will take a time to replicate so let's skip as it is 
AWS WAF Web ACL. If you create it, then you will get the option. C name. I don't uh, create it. Uh, domain C name. So let it be. Okay. Uh, so this is the interesting thing. SSL certificate. As in top, we selected HTTPS. HTTP to HTTPS to secure the website. So Amazon are using their own uh, certificate. CloudFront certificate. So this is it okay so let's go down so supported httpl version so yeah let's create all the latest http 2 http 1 uh, 1 1.0 okay. okay so here is one more option default root objects what is it let's see here yes this is in website where we can give our index.html so let's type here Okay, logging. Okay, I want uh, logging to be enabled. For this, I will use my another bucket, which is uh, okay. Demo cloud ops and be logs. Okay, cookies. I don't want to enable the cookies. Comments. So this is for my cloud front demo. So cloud ops. distribution state let it be enabled now let's create a distributor okay so we can see here it is in progress it will take some time it's still in process uh, for rest of the world edge location so meanwhile let's go and create error pages so just click on error create custom errors okay so let's see uh, 404 uh, and customize this so error page here we can click slash i think we can use slash okay let's try response code will be 200 okay let's see create okay okay so we need to give slash so anyone who's trying to uh, see any extra pages on my website uh, and then slash and if they are adding anything like uh, index.html or error.html or if they want to try anything new on my website if they put slash and if they give any content they will receive an error message so let's see go ahead and create yeah it's created so we can create the similar error page for 403 also so let's go ahead and create yes slash html error dot html small course 200 okay Okay, so anyone who's trying to do some extra activity on my website, trying to see or find any uh, new pages, so if they do slash and next anything, they will get the error. So the next we can do the restrictions. So let's go here and restriction tab and we can do uh, geography restrictions. So let's go ahead and edit. Just enable yes here we can do two, two things uh, whitelist and blacklist so at this moment let's blacklist something okay so let's black, uh, blacklist the very first thing uh, AF which is nothing but Afghanistan we can blacklist anything but uh, it is the very first so let's do it okay okay so let's go back okay so uh, this new changes will take uh, some time to implement okay so yeah I'm just keeping this video on hold and we'll resume again so as it's going to complete uh, the application let's uh, see if we are able to open from CloudFront so I'm going to click on new tab giving the URL yes it is opening so you can see here it is now from cloudfront 
uh, .NET and you can see here the HTTPS uh, which is nothing but uh, the log status replicate as an HTTPS so if you are using Google Chrome so let's uh, go ahead and uh, in enter F12 and go to the security okay in this security tab you can see here a uh, click on view certificate you can see here uh, this certificate issued by cloudfront.net issued by yeah cloudfront validation from this this okay i'm going to close this so this is how you can uh, enable cloudfront uh, uh, using https and the sql certificate and uh, you can uh, create a multiple website and you simultaneously create uh, uh, and issue the CloudFront uh, uh, certificates. So I hope uh, you like this video then definitely uh, give the big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe and in comment section just let me know uh, next video on which topic you would like to see the next video. That's it for today. Thank you.